The voluntary membership plan falls under section 10 of the current NSSF Act. And it has two categories of individuals who would qualify for the voluntary plan. The first is employers that have less than five individuals. They can voluntarily register their members or their employees to begin saving. The second category is individuals who have recently or are still on the scheme of NSSF. In other words, they were registered, they contributed as members over a period, they stopped contributing, and they now are in self-employment or they are in government, but they would still like to continue to make voluntary contributions to their account. During the enactment of the Act in 1985, employment at that time was largely formal and therefore it was important that people who contribute to NSSF were formalized businesses that are contributing because they've got more than five individuals who should save with NSSF. So that was the environment then. But we now know that the environment has changed significantly. In fact, 70% of companies today operate in the informal sector. In other words, they do not belong to the formal sector. And therefore, they would not need to save with NSSF. We also know that uh, through our li financial literacy programs, uh, we've seen quite a number of people uh, begin to save voluntarily because now they're taking hold of their financial matters and are preparing for retirement. So there are very many ways in which to make contributions for a voluntary saver. The most important one, the biggest one, is obviously mobile money. Uh, but there are other ways that you can pay money into your account. You can use a mobile banking agent or a banking agent. You can use um, your credit card, uh, especially for the diaspora. All very convenient via an app which is available uh, both for Android and uh, iOS. And obviously if you have um, a phone that's not smart, uh, you can also use U USSD uh, to be able to make uh, payments into your voluntary account. Once you pay in the money, um, that money is invested. The following year, the interest that will have been paid into your account and your contributions will be compounded and interest paid on those. So if you look at your statement over a couple of years, even though you do not uh, put money into your account, you'll notice that every single time the interest element is growing and that the reason it grows is because there is a compounding effect, uh, which means that um, if you were to, for example, save for a period of about 20 years, you'll find that your own contributions uh, only constitute about 20 to 30 percent and you'll find that interest contributes almost 80 to 70 percent uh, of your balance. So it's a good thing to pay money into the fund because you are beginning to earn interest on interest, which is a very good principle uh, to increase your balances.